Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So this is my first video. I'm going to do a fall look, I guess you could call it. Something really dark and mysterious and stuff. So pretty much I don't have too much to talk about. Um, I'd like to get started because I'm sure it's gonna be a long video. It is like one in the morning where I'm at right now on the West Coast, so it's pretty late and I'm bored, so I figured to just get this video started, so no more talking. I'm just gonna talk as I go, I should say. So what I first like to do is moisturize my lips because I have huge lips, of course. And they have to stay moisturized. I have really oily skin. So I don't really moisturize my skin. I kind of just make sure it's clean. As you can see, it's like has a glow to it already. So to begin, I take these two primers. I like to mix the both NYX, uh, the pore filler and the shine killer. I use the shine killer first. And I pretty much do it like this. And I squeeze it out. Right there. Right there. So I take this little um, this little duo, I guess, as this part on the end for um, pencil, but I don't really use it because it's too light. And I just take the spoolie and I comb up my little brows like so. I like my brows to be thin, I guess, so I can kind of just make them whatever size I want, depending on how I'm feeling that day. regular black kind of eyeliner pencil. I, I usually, well lately I should say, I've been wearing my hair really dark, so I just uh, use a dark pencil to match my um, to match my hair color. So I just pretty much underline over here, like so, and I extend it out, kind of start to get the shape that I want. do it to the side and then I go and I outline the top like that and I know they look so thin and so tiny but you'll see towards the end how I kind of like build up the thickness you know it's all in the spoolie for me honestly so then I take like a little really thin kind of flat brush and I use um, a really a really dark eyeshadow. I'm going to use the Tartlet in Bloom. I've had this palette for years. I'm just going to take this, oh, fuck. I'm going to take this really dark color right here and just dab the brush into it, blow off the excess and just kind of fill it in. So it's not like jet jet black, but it's definitely like dark as heck. And then I do it on this side, just to kind of set it. Sorry if you guys can hear my TV upstairs, I'm not sure I know I can hear it.
concealer brush, this old dirty thing. Just gonna try to wipe off as I go. And don't judge me all, this is literally my first video, so. So I take the Tarte, hold on. So I take the Tarte Shape Tape in the color Tan Sand. I doubt you can see that, but whatever. Trust me, it's Tan Sand. It's pretty much running out, but this is my favorite concealer in the entire world. So what I do is I take that and I just kind of dab it. And I go in, and this is like the most, here, let me come off. Let me just my camera. This is the most crucial time. And I just kind of start in the front. And just bring it down. I'm not using a lot because I'm going to go over it with a really, really light one to use as a base for my eyeshadow. So usually I use uh, I use a lot more. But this is just to kind of like clean it up. Up is I do uh, above my brow and I use the the NARS in the color Amande whatever it's a medium dark three don't judge me I don't know how to pronounce half of these fucking products so if I can get this open I use that from the top because it's a it's definitely like a more chocolate shade it's a little closer to my skin tone because I don't like the, the too light on the top of the brows. concealer palette. I've had this for years. I can't even remember where I got it from. Um, I ran out of my um, my lighter palette, um, my lighter concealer, excuse me. So I just used like the really, the lightest color over here for my base. And what I do is I keep water in a little empty bottle because it's so thick and creamy. I just spray a little bit on it like that. Just spray like two sprays. Just to kind of like make it. eyeshadow so I'm going to take my violet boss my the hashtag my holy grail this is the palette um, this is one of my newer editions and I fell in love with it the first time I used it so I'm gonna take a big um, elf it's actually a concealer brush but I use it for pretty much everything I'm just gonna open this up and I'm gonna use the color hashtag. Um, and I use that as my base. I like to actually mix it, I take that back. So I like to mix, mix hashtag and transition together. 
And what I do is, I'm just trying to make sure you guys can see. And I just kind of pack that in there. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture. I'm sure almost everybody who's into makeup has heard of this palette. And now I'm going to finally get started on the darker colors. So I'm going to be taking the color All Star. I don't know why I can't talk right now. All Star and I'm just going to use another e.l.f. Uh, it's, I've had this for so long, it's pretty much gone. All of my brushes are usually pretty old. And um, I'm just gonna use a regular blending brush and kind of dip that in there. And just go like so on the outside. Sorry, the mirror in here sucks, so I'm gonna use this one. And just kind of build that in. And just do circular motions. Kind of bring it into my crease. I hope you guys can see. My cat is doing the absolute most right now. Move. <laughs> I'm actually kind of just freestyling as I go, guys. So we're going to go into Rowdy, which is like their darkest color. It's kind of like a deep navy, and I'm gonna take this Sephora Pro Tapered Crease in number. I can't even read it. Whatever. It looks like this. <laughs> Dip into that. And I'm just gonna bring that into my crease because it's so dark and I love it. I know, it looks like somebody just punched me in the fucking eye. the concealer I'm gonna take this really light color again and I just like to start right here and just put a chunk of concealer right there And then I look up to the sky, and then boom. And that kind of helps me guide where I need to put it at. Lids. 
So back to our Anastasia brush using brush palette using the Anastasia brush that comes in the palette. So it looks like this, it has two heads on it, which is amazing. So I keep, like I said earlier, I keep empty, just, um, I use the empty bottle and I just put water in it when I'm done with, you know, whatever, setting sprays or whatever bottle I decide to use. And I just give it a couple squirts and tap it to make sure that it's just a little damp. And I'm gonna go into the, my favorite color on this palette, the electric. And I'm just gonna dab into that. It's so pigmented and so pretty. Because a lot comes off. I'm just going to pretty much pack that in everywhere. to go back into All Star. Okay, right here. How about I try getting it on the camera? And then I just take that and I just go kind of next to it. Just gonna get some eyeliner going. Um, I use I use a lot of NYX now that I realize. I use the NYX liquid uh, eyeliner. I'm just gonna do pretty much a good old fashioned thick wing. to now take the wet and wild what is this foundation photo focus in the shade coco
now time to set. I use the, to set my foundation, I use the Maybelline New York Matte Poreless Fit Me and 360 Color Mocha. And I take uh, my, one of my cheap Wet n Wild brushes, a big fluffy brush that needs to be clean. I just kind of dab into that and just apply that all over my face. Just kind of even it out. I'm gonna be so mad when I have to, when I'm done with this and I have to like remove all this makeup. <laughs> I will take some selfies though. So next I'm going to go back into, oh, I forgot I put that there. Why are you standing there looking all crazy? <laughs> I'm going to dip back into the tape shape. All right, and a trick that I seen on Instagram one day is you take your setting powder, powder. I use the Bare Minerals, at the moment, let me see. I use Bare Minerals Original and Neutral Tan, number 21. And um, I heard that before that if you use setting powder and dip it, um, not dip it, but apply it onto your concealer that it gives you more of a smoother look. So I've been doing that lately. So I'll just take a little bit. And go like that. And I kind of let that sit for a second. While I try to get it organized again. And then I pretty much just blend it out. And for a second, I literally mean like a second because I'm usually in a rush. Set that there. And now I'm going to contour. So I use the what is this again? The True Complexion Black Radiance. <laughs> I've had this palette for like seven months now, so it's pretty much diminished. I use this color right here, the contour color. Take a nice little angled brush that I've gotten, I believe, from Amazon or something. And I take that, and shop the excess, and kind of get in there. Use 
it for the top part. I'm going to just use it on my drawing. brush like this. I'm just gonna dip into that a little bit and contour my nose. I'm not a contour nose champion I guess but I just do enough to kind of you know slim it down a little bit. Like so just so you guys can get a better look like this. I'm gonna bring it up towards the beginning of my brow and just blend it in. And then repeat on the same side. I'm just gonna use the bottom. Alright, and now I'm gonna take my one of my favorite brushes because it's so big and fluffy. It's the Sephora Featherweight Powder Brush, number 91. And I just sweep off all the rest of my setting powder. And what I do again is I go back and I kind of just cut it because I kind of like a like a cut. Some people like it, some others don't. It all depends. I don't like it like too harsh. If that makes sense. But I definitely like it. You know, it's this one. Next, I'm going to, well, I already have it in my hand. I have my e.l.f. blush palette. And I use another good old fluffy brush. And I use this little peach color. I'm just going to dab that in there. I use right now. Let me refrain from saying something that I use all the time when I know I don't. Um, I like to use at the moment the Ardell 251 lashes. I'll show you how they look in a second once I get all this excess glue off. They kind of look like this, they're a more natural, fluffy look. crazy. I didn't even apply any mascara on. I'm losing it. This is why I know I need to go to bed. So I just do a thin layer of mascara using the Better Than Sex.
with the Better Than Sex again. And I just kind of go into that. Just try to get them to blend in. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to go back to my subculture palette. And with the color All Star and Rowdy, I mix the two. And um, with the flat Anastasia brush I used earlier for my shimmer lit, uh, eyeshadow, I just take that and I just kind of dip it. And I do that for my lower lash lines. And I repeat that again. And then I go back with the Better Than Sex. Mascara, and I just kind of do a light layer. So now the fun part is done. Um, I always have to go back to my brows. I'm just gonna make sure they look good. Make sure that front is nice and blend out blended it out. <laughs> oh. And then I'm going to take my Urban Decay Be Slick. I'm going to spray that all over my face. Probably don't need that much, but what ifs. More is greater, right? <laughs> and then I'm going to take the Anastasia Glow Kit Sun Dipped. I use the color bronze. I just go ahead and On the first of my nose, on my forehead area. On my cupid's bow. And I'm going to go back to the Urban Decay Sun Dip. And I'm going to take, um, I believe this is by Too Faced. Too Faced or Tarte from their Unicorn Collection. I can't remember which one. And I just dip that and um, I apply that above my brow bone. It's crazy. It looks so crazy right now, but you get the point. So this is the final look. I'm gonna pick it up so you guys get a good look. Well, thank you for watching. Um, like I said, this was my first video, so it was obviously really rough. I kind of just got up and was like, okay, whatever, let me do a video. Um, I'm not a big lipstick person. I will definitely apply some for you all. I'm going to just take my makeup wipe, rub off whatever, and um, go in with a little, I use a red a lot for lip liners if I do. So I'm just gonna use a red. And 
we're just gonna take this dark matte color. No, actually, we're gonna use this one. Milani Semi Matte uh, Fearless. Just gonna take that and just apply that. I don't really like lipstick. I already have super huge lips. But I guess it makes it better. So, I hope you guys liked. Uh, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Um, give me any feedback, anything I should work on, what I should do next time, any looks you guys are interested to see. So let's get one more last look in. All right, thank you guys. Till next time.